Danielle. I am so grateful to be standing here in front of all of our loved ones to proclaim my love for you. There was a time in the thick of COVID when we weren't even sure if we wanted to have a wedding. Well, I'm so glad we decided to do it. Those of you who know me well will not be surprised that years ago I questioned having a wedding. What's the purpose? One reason I discovered was this, proclaiming one's love and companionship in front of their community. That really resonates with me. So I wanna say a few words about why I love you. You inspire me every day. From the first time we met, you continue to intoxicate me with the depth of your spirit and beauty. Your enthusiasm for embarking on new and, me and meaningful endeavors is amazing and encourages me to experiment, try, and explore. Your quest for self-improvement and edge-walking elevates and inspires me to be all that I can be. Your embrace for, and love for both spirituality and science touches me with awe while filling my heart with love. Jesse, you make me feel so seen and so safe being my authentic me. I vow to see you fully, including the boundaries between you and me, to see you as a whole orange and not just the other half of mine, and to respect your wholeness and our separateness like a moving river that flows between the shores of our souls. Which means I vow to respect your need for lazy mornings, even though I may wake up with an over-revved jet engine backpack strapped on and ready for blast off at the first sound of the alarm. I vow to choose you over and over and over again to say I do every single morning that I have the privilege of waking up on this earth as your wife. I vow to love you deeply, boldly, and without restraint. I vowed to always kiss you, just like the first time we kissed, dancing to funk at New Vegas Lounge. I vow to be the Rembrandt to your Van Gogh. I vow to always be patient and listen. I vow to be your intellectual, spiritual, and life partner, and your personal porter on hiking long hikes. I vow to tell you I love you multiple times a day. I vow to continue dreaming with you, visioning with you, meditating with you, and being silly with you. I vow to be your confidant and lover and to celebrate the fact that we are two conscious nodes dancing together in this time-space interface. I vow to embrace your limited repertoire of corny dad jokes that you've had on the rotation since we started dating, which I suspect will be the same set of one-liners that I will be hearing when I'm 80. <laughs> I vow to never stop nurturing your beautiful curiosity by making sure that mine is always fully ignited. I vow to continue striving for balance between all aspects of my life so that I can show up for you, for our family, for our community in my most powerful and supportive form. I vow to live my life with you through a prism of gratitude and passion. And I vow never to let my courtship of you end, that I will work tirelessly to make you feel infinitely deserving of being adored for being you. It was the fall of 2000, and Jesse and I barely knew each other at that point we found ourselves sitting next to each other in a school auditorium and in front of us were two cute girls so naturally we started talking to them as many early teen flirtations went back then that day the girls asked us what cologne we were wearing so i replied in my best french accent jean paul gaultier and let them smell my wrist and got some nods of approval without missing a beat jesse puts out his wrists and lets the girls get a whiff. And the girls both nod in approval and ask Jesse once again what cologne he was wearing. And he says, completely deadpan, Jesse Phillips. And I can barely contain myself. 
The girls eventually turn away, but I knew immediately that that day I had met the funniest guy on the face of the planet. Danielle is very easy to brag about because not only is she beautiful, but she is brilliant, compassionate, and spunky with an energy that lights up every room she walks into. So, to tell you a little more about Danielle, she picked entirely different disciplines for her undergrad, master's, and PhD, because why not? Um, during her PhD, she worked for NASA because where else is our brilliant lady going to work? And she perfected her Portuguese and trekked through the Amazon for her field research. And when I say trekking, I mean like real trekking. Mm -hmm. 